moved from junior vice president to president of the Ghana Olympic Association. Uh, what does that spell for Godfrey Monroe, the GTTA president, given that it's, it's a, a big post to, to run the Joey as well and then have to, to manage the GTTA? Uh, some rumors are that you may look to take a bit of a back seat uh, at table tennis. Uh, care to shed some light in that aspect? Yeah, um, Akeem, I think ultimately because the GOA is a different portfolio, a bigger portfolio, and it requires multi-sport discipline managing those. Um, I think critically my experience and training in San has provi uh, uh, provisioned me to be able to manage that well and you know, bring new and innovative ideas. Uh, ultimately, uh, time will be a key factor, so, um, you know, I believe I still have a lot to contribute because we've made significant investment in laying some key pillars for the progression of the table tennis. But I think it's also a good opportunity to move away and let some more other persons come to the fore and you know help guide that process in terms of building the linkage and showing the pathways of how we should go, but also building capacity and um, ultimately in the GOA realm, you know, continue to support tennis and all the other major sports um, as we move forward. And, bring new and key innovative ideas um, in that realm, you know, we'll be unveiling a uh, master plan in terms of our roadmap for, you know, the direction that the Olympic Committee will go, um, you know, and it revolves around several key areas that are pragmatic, realistic, achievable and fundable. Um, so we're now promising the moon and stars, uh, realistic expectations, and in addition to ensuring that um, you know, we get all of Guyana on board because uh, a lot of times we point fingers at an organization. But um, critically for, you know, Olympic type success, you require a nation galvanized around the corporate community, uh, government, uh, organization support. So that is critical to us. And, um, you know, my tenure will in seek to engage all those stakeholders in moving uh, us in a positive direction. And just on that note, uh, obviously, if you're going to be uh, taking a bit of a back seat, at the GDT, how soon then can one see the elections being called to see that new era take effect? Well, ultimately, um, I think June would be a more realistic date um, because right now the audits are being done and you know, as soon as that's completed, um, yeah, we look to see how good a team you could have. But I think typically people say yes, but it's key that you have a great team that are committed, that has the skill set. You know, because you would know how it came, you cover sports, a lot of times persons say yes, they put up their hands, but then, you know, just a few persons end up, you know, shouldering the, the load. And that can be in the new dispensation of sports, and if we are to realize the player's fullest and the athlete's fullest potential. So, uh, you know, we got to be committed to excellence and so on. So, um, yeah, we'll be looking to uh, have those elections as soon as, you know, I'm estimating June. June 110.